this time. There we are. Perfect. Got it. <laughs> okay, uh, I do believe this is now actually live. At least that's what it seems to be telling me. So um, if you are tuned in and you are watching, this is our Tuesday afternoon Bring your gadgets to the geeks um, with the Windsor Public Library. My name is Denise Ricotta and I am the IT librarian um, here at the library, although uh, actually social distancing and trying to do this from home. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, it tells me I am live and it looks like it is working. So um, I'm going to get started. And what I was hoping to show you all today was our Hoopla and um, how, that, how that all works. Because I know we've had a bunch of questions that have been emailed and called in and people are very excited about our Hoopla service. So um, I'm going to get started. Um, when you... Um, actually, you can start, I should do this from here. Let's do that. From the Windsor Library homepage. Ta -da, there we are, our Windsor Library homepage. Uh, when you start from there, you can come down, scroll down to where it shows our digital collections. That's one way to get into uh, Hoopla. The other way is um, if you found, have found something when you are searching our catalog um, up here at the top or on Encore itself, and you find something that you like and it says it's only available on Hoopla, Windsor residents, please click here. Um, those, are both, those are two ways to get to uh, our, Hoopla catalog, our Hoopla collection. Um, I'm going to go from our digital services homepage, digital collections, um, through here. I'm going to just click on books. And we have um, underneath all of these little things that open up, um, it kind of gives you, if you are looking for movies, what services have, of ours that we subscribe to and you can get with your library card have movies, which have books, audiobooks, television. Um, graphic novels, magazines, music, and of course, wonderful things for kids. Um, so I'm going to go under books. And I am on a computer. So I'm going to choose Hoopla for PC um, and Mac because it's, it's basically taking me to the website. And or if you have a device that you're on, like a tablet, you can choose Hoopla for Android or Hoopla for um, iOS and Apple. And that'll take you to the appropriate um, download for those apps. Uh, once you get there, you're going to, uh, it's going to open up um, the website. It's going to look kind of like this. Um, it's going to give you some basic information here. There's a lot of different devices that you can use with Hoopla. Uh, of course, we mentioned, I mentioned the App Store and the Google Play Store, but it's also available um, through for Amazon, Chromecast, Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, and a Roku. Um, so you can watch, listen, and or read on a multitude of devices. Um, the devices you cannot use, because we do get this question a lot, it's not available on the Amazon Paperwhite, the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, and I believe there is a similar tablet um, that, that either Nook or uh, somebody else offers. If the tablet itself cannot install an app, which is the case with the paper white, then um, it can't do Hoopla. If it can, if you can install an app on it, like you can on a Kindle Fire, then you can read audiobooks uh, or eBooks um, on the on the device. Um, so Hoopla only works with devices that can download um, directly from Hoopla. Okay. So that's that the device and there's a lot of good um, at the bottom of the web page there's a help section here and there's a ton of great information uh, listed in there. I've in fact I've used it to answer questions from our patrons. So um, if you are new and you want to get started, 
you will you would click on the get started today. Um, I had planned to show you that, but I had left I left the library card I was going to use for that upstairs. So instead, um, what we'll do is um, I will go back and I will use my own login. Here we go. Login. Um, once you once you go through the first time setting it up with your library card, um, you choose your library, which is Windsor Public Library. Um, if you are doing this from a mobile device, please be careful because if location services are on and you physically live closer to Prosser or the Wintonberry branch in Bloomfield, that will come up as an option for you. So you want to just sort of go through it carefully and make sure you choose Windsor Public Library and Wilson branch um, to get exactly where you live and to get your, uh, your, uh, to get your access. Um, if you don't have the right library, it will still accept your library card because we are all part of the same consortium. Um, but what will happen is you'll get a weird message that items aren't available for you to check out. And that's not true with Hoopla. You should always be able to check out items as long as you haven't used up your uh, four checkouts for the month. Um, and the month does go calendar. So it would go May 1st to May 30th and um or 31st and um if the if that's the um if you still have something checked out that carries over it does uh carry over it if it only carries into your next month's checkouts if you renew it um, which you can do of course um so i am actually in south windsor registered with my south windsor card so i have uh a few more checkouts than four. Um, then uh, a lot of uh, Windsor residents are using our Hoopla and we're very happy about that. Um, so when you get into Hoopla, when you put in your library card and you put and you tell it what email address you want to use, um, then you get, basically you get uh, my Hoopla. This is where you're gonna start. So it's gonna show you things like, obviously these lovely, uh, highlights that are going across the top. It's gonna to show you what you currently have checked out. Um, and then it's gonna make some recommendations if you've ever checked out things. When you are first signed in, you probably won't have a rec anything recommended unless it's just popular content. Um, but as you start to check things out, it will start to re uh, recommend more things for you to listen to and or read. And it will also, of course, you can keep a, you can keep a list of favorites um, and I'll go through and show you how to do that as well. Um, let's see, for starters, uh, let's do some browsing. So you can browse um, audiobooks, movies, music. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of categories there. Audiobooks seem to be what is most popular with Windsor users. Um, uh, we do like that you all want to listen to our audiobooks because that's a great thing. Um, Anything that you see here, you can check out today. The beauty of Hoopla is that it does offer simultaneous checkouts, so which is also um, a really great thing. Um, whoops, let's go back. And then, so there are currently, holy cow, 47,000 more or some odd. <laughs> Um, audiobooks available for me to check out. If there was a specific uh, audiobook or a specific author or title that I wanted to look for, I could, of course, just search right up here. Um, it's going to give me some trending searches right now. If I am looking for an audiobook, um, uh, let's just do this because I know I already have. A Neil Gaiman checked out. Um, and there's actually quite a few from Neil Gaiman, some stuff I've never even heard of. Um, so if there was something here that you wanted to listen to, to check out right away today, you would basically just find the item, click on it. Um, when you click into it, it gives you, uh, of course, a summary of the book. Um, you can see who reads the book. 
because I know that in audiobooks can be very important to folks. And then, of course, you can see other similar artists and even a few related titles. So um, if this is something that you want to check out, as it tells you here, it says the title is available for 21 days after you borrow it. Um, and it's available for streaming and downloading to mobile devices. So you can borrow it by clicking on the borrow or you can favorite it by clicking on the little heart. Um, if you borrow it, of course, it'll go into your uh, borrowed items for 21 days and then it'll tell you when it expires. If you're doing this on a mobile device, uh, the next screen that comes up gives you an option to download it to the device. Um, it does expire uh, at the 21 day mark as, the, as it mentions. Um, and um, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, accrue any late fees or anything like that, just like all of our virtual or our data or collection. Um, if you add it to your favorites with this little heart, uh, when you go back up to the top under my hoopla, you can see uh, currently borrowed favorites and history. Um, if you go to favorites, that's where these kinds of things are listened, are listed, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, um, I mostly have audiobooks and music. I, I generally tend to use um, Hoopla either with my phone in the car or with my Amazon Alexa devices. I've demonstrated here a couple of times ago. Um, I love that it's available for Amazon. It's really, through Alexa, it's a really great um, option. Um, so these are things that I have favorited if I ever want to go in and listen to them again or um, listen to them for the first time. Um, I kind of like to keep ahead of myself a little bit with the audiobooks. Um, then I can just come in here and borrow them at any time. And they actually stay here even after you've borrowed them until you remove them from your favorites list. Um, to use a Hoopla with an Alexa device, you just need to, when you go into the app and you, your Alexa app, that is, um, enable the skill for Hoopla. And then you just need to ask her, Alexa, ask Hoopla to open my audiobook. Currently, you have one audiobook title borrowed. I found an audiobook title, Good Omens, by Neil Gaiman. Would you like to play it? No. There are no more audio titles to list. Um, so that is how that works. Um, and it's obviously a wonderful hands-free way to listen to your audiobooks. Um, so uh, that is sort of the basics of Hoopla. Um, there are plenty of things to choose from. Like I said, it is a simultaneous download, so there's no placing holds. Uh, you just go ahead and check out your items and begin listening to them. Um, there's a great, over in this corner, you can see little kids. And if you do that, as you may have noticed, a whole bunch of my favorites disappeared, including the one with the interesting title, um, because it's not a kid-friendly title. So. Um, when you have this option checked, everything that you are even just browsing for um, becomes just for kids. So it's a great way to set it up. Um, if you're connecting it to a child's card uh, on their device, um, you can, of course, choose that option. And then they'll only see things that are um, age appropriate. So which is really awesome too. Uh, there are of course plenty of things for them to watch and listen to and read. So, um, so that is Hoopla in a nutshell. I'm gonna switch over and see if... I just see Danielle. Hello, Danielle. Okay. Uh, awesome. Okay, so I just want to make sure there were no other questions right now. So uh, let's go and switch back to the website. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about today was, of course, our um, overdrive collection. Um, 
And there's two ways to access our OverDrive collection. One is through the OverDrive app. And the other is an app called Libby. Um, Libby seems to be coming, seems to be becoming more and more popular um, for portable devices, mobile devices. Um, and it is the only way to read the magazines that we have available for checkout uh, through OverDrive. You do have to have Libby uh, installed on the device to be able to check out and read the magazines online. Um, if you are a magazine reader, you can also get the magazines via curbside. We are offering um, pretty much all of our print um, magazines, books, books on CD, playaways, uh, DVDs, uh, all of that great stuff is available to place holds on and get checked out uh, through curbside pickup. So if you are wanting to do curbside, we are offering curbside pickup at both the main library and the Wilson branch, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And um, you, you can either cruise the catalog in your pajamas, um, or your yoga pants and uh, place your holds. Uh, once you place the holds and we find the items actually in the library, um, we will let you know via email. Then you give us a call and let us know when you want to come and pick them up um, Monday through Friday between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Um, the interlibrary loan feature right now for the moment is shut off. Um, there haven't there's, there's not delivery between the libraries um, at the moment. So once that's all reinstated, then we can open up the catalog to obviously borrowing. But don't let that stop you from placing holds on other libraries items. Some other libraries um, will be offering curbside. And also um, we do expect that the interlibrary system may open up again. Um, and once it does, of course, you know, then, then those holds will become available for you. Um, but if you're in a hurry for something, it's best to just look for stuff that says that, it, that says you can check the shelf um, and we'll get that stuff to you as soon as we can. So, um, so anyway, so let's talk about OverDrive. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to OverDrive for PC and Mac because I am on a Windows PC. And uh, this is what our OverDrive collection looks like currently. Um, when you get here, uh, there is, of course, there she is, meet Libby. Um, then there are, uh, there's a great curated selection of staff picks. Um, <laughs> Andrea put together a collection of While You're Waiting for Where the Crawdads Sing. These are great books also that are very similar. There's some new stuff. Um, as you can see, most of the new stuff tends to be the magazines because they get added frequently. Um, and then, of course, while you're waiting for little fires everywhere, some thrillers, things like that. If um, you have something specific you're looking for in OverDrive, the best thing to do first is to sign in. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the right to my account. Um, and I am signed in because I'm on a laptop that remembered my login information. So I'm already signed in. So uh, if I wasn't, you would see, it would pop up with a thing that said, please sign in. And then you would just have to put in your library card number and um, choose Windsor Library. And you can go from there. Um, other things you can see under my accounts, you can see your loans. Now, I don't have any checked out through OverDrive right now. You can see any holds because of course with OverDrive, um, any ebook, audiobook, any ebooks and audiobooks and videos are one user at a time. The magazines are not. Because um, they're magazines, they're they're simultaneous. So um, let's see. Uh, you can you can also have a wish list in uh, OverDrive, just like your favorites in Hoopla. You can keep a list of titles here. Um, and I must be signed in with a different account because I usually have some things on a wish list here. So um, 
rated titles, if you rate titles, um, you know, give a title one star, two star, three star, that kind of thing, um, that will show up here. And then um, that will also help curate recommendations for you. Um, you can also recommend titles for purchase, um, which is which is learn how to recommend titles here. Um, and there we go. If I was if I had recommended titles for us to purchase, they would show up here. All the titles that I recommended and the ones that actually ended up in the collection. Uh, there is a history. You do have to opt in to keep your reading history um, here. And um, if you are okay with that, then um, they would go here and they would show up there. So you could keep track of where you left off in a series or um, if you already read uh, and or listened to a book, um, it would show up there. There is also a kid section in Overdrive. Um, which of course looks a whole lot prettier <laughs> than just the standard blue and white. Um, that is all, of course, kid-friendly uh, reads, all kinds of good things, fiction, nonfiction, um, depending on what the kids are looking for. The search option in, oops, let's go back to the main collection. So the search option up here, it's this little cue it's supposed to be a magnifying glass, but I tell people all the time and it just doesn't quite look the whole magnifying glass look, but that is the search. Um, if you have a specific title and or author that you're looking for, um, you can do the search through here. Overdrive does have a larger collection of best-selling uh, fiction, especially because they do have a lot more publishers on, um, on board. They've been added a little bit longer. Uh, than Hoopla. So um, they definitely have more titles available. Um, and we do purchase titles uh, specifically for our Overdrive collection. So if you do recommend a title, um, we get notified and, and um, make our purchase um, our purchases just like we would with any other uh, recommendations. So um, you can search specific collections, ebooks that are available right away, not that you don't have to place a hold for any new ebooks, um, kids, teens, popular fiction. There's uh, the same options for audiobooks, um, videos, and of course, magazines go by um, genre. So um, we're gonna go, so I'm gonna show you a quick thing about when you're on, say for instance, the front page, um, the audiobooks, of course, have little headphones, and the ebooks have a little book. Um, the, uh, the magazines have this little flipped over page, like a magazine. Um, and the videos, I believe, have a little camera icon, so you know which one is which. Um, if it's available, then you can borrow it. If it is not, and somebody else has it checked out, um, it will say wait list at the top and it will ask you to place a hold. Um, if you really want this one, if you click on the, on the cover of any of the book, this, this one is an audio book. Um, there is one copy and it is checked out and the wait time currently is about four weeks. Um, and if you see this little question mark here, when you click on that, it gives you a little bit more information. So the wait time is, is four weeks because there's probably one other person waiting on the list right now. So you can use that information to judge whether or not you wanna wait and place your hold also. You can listen to a sample. Um, and then of course you can get a lot more information um, about the book here. There should be the description really just wants to tell me what a bestseller it is. Um, there it is. There's the rest of the description. Um, and then it also gives you, if you like this, you might also like these. And a lot of times the you might may also like is stuff that's currently available. So while you're waiting for your hold, you can always scroll down a little bit, find something else um, that you might also enjoy. 
Um, and if you haven't read Life After Life by Kate Atkinson, I highly recommend the audiobook. It was it was a fascinating listen um, and a really great book. Uh, so that is the gist of Overdrive uh, with the magazines. Let's talk about magazines because we want to show you. Come on, magazines. There it goes. So like I said, these will always be available um, because they are simultaneous. So if there's something here that you are looking for, um, you can, of course, you can search for a specific magazine title um, or you can just browse. So we have them um, most popular, health and fitness, um, business and finance. So um, you will see some magazines here that we don't, have in the print, um, either because like Newsweek, we're not available, that's not available as a print magazine any longer. Newsweek is an online only. Um, or, um, you know, we don't, we, we don't specifically subscribe to, um, like for instance, I know that the Wilson branch has women's health, but we don't at the main library. Um, most of these do look like they are stuff that we subscribe to also but you know if they're not at the library the latest copy or if you are not um, looking to come into the library or get curbside pickup this is always a great option so to get a magazine if you want to borrow um, any of these you can just click on the magazine or you can just click on the word borrow you can if you're not sure you want to read this one you can always read a sample um, uh, but if you are looking to borrow it today, you can click on borrow um, and it brings it up, but it'll let you borrow it for 21 days. Of course, you can change in overdrive any of your checkouts um, to be shorter than 21 days, but the default is 21 days. Um, then you just click on borrow. Now with a laptop like I'm using with a Windows Windows computer, you can just read now in browser. Um, oh, and magazines don't count toward your checkout limit. You can still borrow up to 10 more titles. Um, so here we go to read now in browser. There we go. Um, you can click on the little hand to go back and forth. And you can just cruise through the magazine. Um, I like to cruise through magazines in Libby when I'm waiting, especially um, the dentist, the doctor, and the veterinarian. So that's always a good option. Um, read a sample is a great way to, to, to figure out what my next read is going to be also, uh, which is also fun. So those are the basics of our, um, close out of that. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna, uh, those are the basics of our overdrive and hoopla. Um, I hope I have maybe cleared up a couple of questions for folks. Um, if not, and you have more questions, please, please, please reach out to us. You can call us at the library. Um, we are there Monday through Friday. That's the 860-285-1910. You can email us. Um, you can email us all individually. My email is my last name, Ricotta, um, at townofwindsorct.com. Or you can reach us. Um, any of us really will respond to windsorlibrary2018 at gmail.com. That's the one we've mostly been using um, to get reference questions and to answer your questions as we go. Um, yes, as Danielle said, we are offering lots of reader's advisory at the library. We are, we know how difficult it can be that you can't come in and stand there and look at the shelves and browse. Um, but, you know, if you have anything that you've liked or that you really didn't like, because that helps too when you're, when you're calling in for reader's advisory, um, you know, we're more than happy to pull some suggestions. Um, and um, get you what you want and get you some in, get you some good materials. So uh, let's see, do we have, I don't think we have, I don't see any other comments or questions. Um, let's 
So I'm just going to cover a few more things on our digital collections page. Um, one of which is uh, RB Digital. Uh, so just to clarify for folks, RB Digital is actually provided by the state of Connecticut and the state library. Um, we don't, the Windsor Library does not individually subscribe to RB Digital. Um, so not all titles are available to Windsor patrons that are available through RB Digital. Um, it's just what the state uh, provides for now. And it's, um, it's a great way to um, access ebooks and audiobooks. Um, I can show you how that one looks. Um, it looks kind of similar to the overdrive, except that it's red. Um, and of course, they're highlighting the Nutmeg nominees. Um, and there's some great nominees in the new Nutmeg titles. Um, I will say I have an eight year old who is already excited. Um, there's a couple of mystery books. So he's very excited to be reading those. Uh, in fact, we have the peculiar incident on Shady Street was his first pick. Um, so um, I, in ebooks or audiobooks, um, the uh, best way to find to find is to search or explore. Um, there we go. So you can see from the little menu option that was in the left corner, you can see books checked out your account. Um, you can log in, of course, you'll need your Windsor Library card for that. Um, and checkout works very similar. There are holds, of course, with RB Digital because it works very much like the overdrive system where it's one um, user per title one at a time. Um, they don't give me any indication with theirs how long the wait list might be, unfortunately. Um, and because of course it's shared through the whole state, um, it could be a little bit longer, but they do purchase more copies of things like the Nutmeg books and popular things. So um, right now, I should highlight this part right here. If you don't have a library card or you cannot find your library card, but you still want to get materials um, and you think you have a Windsor card, please contact us. You can call or email us and we will try to get your car Windsor card straightened out. But also um, there is right now uh, access to RB Digital if you are using the following access code when registering, which is the CT State Lib 20 um, during this uh, quarantining and um, stay at home uh, prerogative. We are, the state is offered or has opened up RV Digital to any Connecticut user who doesn't have a library card or can't find a library card so that you still have access, especially to the Nutmeg books and other great resources. So, um, so RB Digital is very similar to Overdrive and you do have to place holds. They do only have eBooks and um, audiobooks, but they are also available um, on Apple, Google Play and Amazon Kindle Fire. So that is a quick look at RB Digital. And I don't know, yeah, that's pretty much their whole thing. Um, let's go back, oops, to our digital collections page um, and the other service we can talk about is our Canopy. Um, Canopy is uh, just a collection of movies. If you haven't heard of it before, um, the New York Public Library uh, basically opened up Canopy to <laughs> much of the East Coast um, by being one of the first major library uh, systems to subscribe. So um, Canopy is a series of, let's get into it and it will tell you thoughtful entertainment. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's go, okay, proceed. There we go. We'll fix that link so you don't get that error message. Um, Okay, so thoughtful entertainment. Enjoy thoughtful entertainment with Canopy. Thousands of films um, you can stream free. Uh, there is no placing holds. 
Um, it may not exactly be movies that you uh, would have seen, um, not like the Marvel movies or any of the blockbusters, but there are, of course, Oscar nominees um, and some very interesting um, documentaries, um, lots of great art films, things you may have seen at film festivals, stuff like that. So um, you can stream these movies with your library card, obviously. Um, and I'm hoping it will show you on here that, oh, now that's a great movie. Chinatown is a classic. Um, here we go. So you can stream these on all of your favorite devices anytime, anywhere. If you have a smart TV, uh, it's a more, that's a more recent smart TV. Canopy is available as an app for the television. Um, you can do it on a phone, a tablet, and, a, and any mobile device, and of course, desktops and laptops. It also does work with Apple TV, Roku, Chromecast, Android TV, Fire TV, and um, Samsung smart TVs, of course. Um, so it is part of my cut the cable program because um, if you are looking to lower that cable bill, um, Canopy is an awesome resource to watch movies with just your library card. That's all you need. Um, so if you go to get started, which I'm passing all these get started buttons here. Um, step one of four, if you have a public library card, find your library. Um, once again, uh, yes, you can learn my location. Um, once again, just so you know, if you're in Windsor, somewhere near, near closer to Bloomfield, um, Bloomfield also has this service. So Windsor Public Library um, comes up for me because that's the closest library to me that has, uh, whoops, come on, that has canopy. That's okay. Um, so in, in the space, you would put in your library card number. And I believe, let's see if this will work. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, um, and then of course, the last part you can do is um, create an account. So my recommendation, highly, highly, highly recommend um, not to do sign up, connect with Facebook um, or sign up with Google um, individual walk-ins are a bigger pain in the butt, I realize, um, but coming from the geek, I will tell you, if you create a login here with an, with your email address and an individual password, um, it's a lot more secure, uh, should anything happen to any one of these services. If you connect logins, um, any one of these services that, that, uh, it be, that gets compromised, compromises all of those logins. So while it's a bigger trouble to keep a lot of different logins, there are some solutions to that as well. Um, our IAT department with the town and myself, we do recommend either KeePass um, and there's another service that I can't think of at the moment, but there are any of those um, password protective services um, are a great way to um, keep your accounts secure and not have one thing get hacked and mess up your whole situation with all of your accounts. So, uh, so then you would create your account and then go ahead and sign up. And once you do, um, watching videos is as simple as picking one out and clicking play. So that is, um, that is Canopy. So, which is a, a really great service. Uh, I'm gonna close that. And I think that pretty much covers it for all of our digital um, collections. Oh, we should actually just give you an, a look at Libby. Um, so Libby is an app, even on, even on a Windows computer, uh, it's still asking you to download an app. Um, uh, it's, it, it's 
really meant for mobile users. So the OverDrive, if you're just going to read a magazine on your computer, on your screen, OverDrive is the, the better way to cruise the catalog. Um, but Libby is really fast, fabulous for um, its ease of use for mobile users and also its speed. Um, it's a lot easier to um, get around in the OverDrive, in the Libby uh, app online than it is um, on your on your device and then it is uh, on the OverDrive app. Wants to open Microsoft Store, fine. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to and it doesn't bring me to the Okay, well, we can Does it show you screenshots? Here we go. It does show you screenshots. So basically the way that uh, Libby works is very similar to the way OverDrive works. Um, there is the library where you can cruise the collection or your shelf, which is what you have checked out. Um, you get to either borrow or place holds, of course, because it is the OverDrive collection. Um, you can search their magnifying glass looks a little bit more like a magnifying glass than the overdrive queue um so, which is really cool too um you can see the ratings you can um you can have a wish list here you can do all the same things that you do in the overdrive app um that you can do them a little easier mobily with lippy so if you are mostly getting our catalog through your mobile device then um, you know Libby is a great option for over, for any of the OverDrive eBooks and audiobooks. So, and of course the magazines. It's very it's very easy to use with the magazines. So, that is a basic overview I think of all of our digital services. Um, and I think that just about covers everything that I was hoping to cover, uh, both, um, both especially today, but even the last couple of geek sessions when I uh, wasn't able to get Facebook to share the screen, I'm really happy to, uh, that I got, that I was able to figure this out. So um, if you have any questions at all, um, besides continuing to offer virtual bring your gadgets to the geeks where I'm sharing my screens, um, we will also be continuing to offer the book a librarian service. So if you do have a more in-depth tech help question um, that you don't want everybody on Facebook to know you have a question about, or uh, you just want more one-on-one -on -one help, we can do um, Zoom meetings one-to-one. -one. So they would all be virtual meetings, one-to-one -one Zoom meetings um, where we can share screens and um, hopefully figure out how to fix problems uh, for anyone who's having tech help. If you are looking to do a book a librarian appointment, please feel free to call the library or the Wilson branch because um, our Wilson branch manager, Gabby, is also um, providing one-on-one -on -one assistance. So the main library, of course, is the 860-285-1910. The Wilson branch is 860 uh, eight, Two four seven eight nine six zero. It's easier to dial than it is to say. Um, and then, of course, you could email any of us. Um, do check out our services technology help page. All of this information um, and a whole lot more. We've we've been adding to and updating our technology help page. Um, of course, the entire uh, PDF. Um, of the cut the cord demonstration, the, the whole talk that I usually do a couple of times a year, um, plus some new information that has come up since since all of this um, quarantine and everybody is streaming uh, with all of the new services and free services is um, all that information is in cut the cord. Um, 
you will see bring your Facebook live with a geek whenever I am going to be online, uh, going to be scheduling those that information will be here. There's information here on how to get your book a librarian, please feel free to email us or call us. Um, and then we have our staff created tutorials. Um, both Danielle and I have worked um, on these for quite some time. We have tutorials for right now for Apple users about adding an email, uh, things to do with photos. We have basic email. Um, and then of course we have our Microsoft Office. Um, if there's more in depth or other uh, information that you're looking for that you don't find here, there are um, some very reliable support help people um, and other classes. So GCF Learn Free and digitallearn.org are online classes that you take at your own pace anytime you wanna start. Um, and you can learn all kinds of computer things through those. Um, tech boomers and tech support guy, you can ask questions or you can just uh, cruise through on Tech Boomers. They have courses and step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, and then WikiHow is, um, it's got like thousands of articles um, on computers and electronics, um, all kinds of electronic devices. Um, of course, they also have, they also have great information about um, anything else to non-electronic or even um, appliances and other great stuff like that. But WikiHow is a great resource also. Um, very clear step-by-step -step pictures, um, which is, is also pretty awesome. So that is our tech help page. Please feel free to check it out um, and to reach out and or contact us if there's anything else that you need um, because we are here for you. Um, but I think that is going to do it for this session of Bring Your Gadgets to the Geeks. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I will see you again in June. Thanks.